James Baldwin, the American novelist, said, Children have never been very good at listening to their elders, but they have never failed to imitate them. Welcome to the Dominion series of A Word and Prayers. My name is Better Praise and Call, the lead pastor of Pell House Ministry, Lagos, Nigeria. Our conversation today is going to be along the lines of being a deliberate imitator. And the scripture for today is Mark chapter 10 and verse 15. We'll be reading from the New Living Translation and it reads, I tell you the truth, anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. From the scripture we just read, there is an attitude, not necessarily an age limit for which we are to receive the kingdom of God. And that attitude has been modeled or spoken of by Jesus as that of a child. So what does that really mean to us? Is it that we're going to be go back to be like children? No. There are some characteristics that God is trying to show us that children have that we need to also imitate. And these are some of those characteristics. Number one, children learn by imitating, not necessarily by what they are told. James Baldwin already told us that. Secondly, children learn by observing, listening, exploring, experimenting, and asking loads and loads of questions. So if you want to receive the kingdom of God, these are things that you need to necessarily have to imbibe as your attitude going forward. The first being observing. The next, listening attentively, exploring, experimenting, and asking questions. So to be one that will receive or assume ownership and stewardship of the kingdom of God, we need to observe the master closely as a model with the intent of learning from his character. The next is that we need to listen and duplicate by all means the behavior and attitude of those who model the kingdom of God. For you to have a deeper understanding of this, I've, I've gotten some scriptures for us to meditate on. These scriptures will also dearly and deeply enlighten us. So we'll look at Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 and 2, then Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, and then finally Hebrews chapter 11, verse 33. Thank you so very much for listening. God bless you.